Artists have been making self-portraits for years. A self-portrait is a painting of yourself. Today we are going to create self-portraits of us imagining who we want to be when we grow up. I want you to think of all the different jobs there are, doctors, chef, nurses, teachers, and we are going to do a self-portrait and add all those good little details to help the viewer, whoever's looking at our artwork, understand who we want to be when we grow up. All right, today we're going to create our imagination portraits. I want you to think of somebody that you want to be when you grow up. Do you want to be a chef? Do you want to be a firefighter, police officer, um, an artist, movie star, astronaut? You can be anything you want. We're going to make a portrait of ourselves and that's called a self-portrait. So grab your paper. We're gonna just do our face and our shoulders and we're gonna have to think of some accessories to add to our portraits, our self-portraits, to let people know what we are imagining that we're gonna be. So I'm gonna start in the center and I wanna do a U shape. I don't want to make it too small because this is going to be my head and it's going to be hard to get all my details in. But I also don't want to make it too big because then I won't be able to get all my accessories in. So go ahead and give yourself a little air draw. When you're ready, very slowly and carefully, draw your U. Now you're thinking about your person. Um, I think I might want to be a marine biologist and that's somebody that goes under the ocean and studies all the plant life and the animal life I've always been fascinated with that so I'm going to make my eyes but I'm gonna to have to make my scuba mask to my goggles so I'm gonna find the center I'm gonna draw my eyes Now I have to get my scuba mask in. And I'll add my nose and my mouth is going to have snorkel in it and there we go got some line pattern in there Maybe some bubbles coming out the top. All right, so now we'll go ahead and do our neck. Our neck is coming down like that. We'll bring our shoulders out and then back down all the way to the edge of the page. Now I'm thinking about the uniform I might wear and it would be a scuba suit or a bathing suit. I think I'll make mine a scuba suit, like a wetsuit. Like that. Now I can go ahead and add ears and hair. I could even have a swim cap on, but I think I'll have my hair. Now I can add all sorts of things in the background to show that I'm scuba diving. So if I was doing that, I would think about having my coral reef. I would think about having some fish. Hmm. 
Maybe I have uh, somebody coming off the page here. Ooh, what if it was a shark? He kind of looks like an eel. I can do some seaweed. Fish come in all different shapes and sizes. You get the idea. So go ahead and get some good details in. What could be some other things you could create? If I was doing a chef, I would have my eyes. But I would have a chef hat on. And I might have a chef jacket on. I could have things in my hand like a spatula and I could be working in a kitchen. If I was a police officer, I'd have my hat on with my badge. and my uniform. If I was, what else could I be? An artist. Maybe I'm wearing a beret. I could have, what else? Movie star. Could have some glamorous tuxedo on or dress oops and we could have um, a red carpet in the background so you get the idea so think about what your imagination portrait could be we're gonna start with that you and then you're going to add all those details around your um, self-portrait so we can understand who we are. When you're done, we're gonna go ahead and color this in. All right, great job creating a self-portrait, a picture of yourself being something you hope to grow up to be. Scuba diver, chef, teacher, artist, accountant, lawyer. We've got so many choices. I hope you did a great job coloring and adding lots of good details to your background.